Hi, welcome to another episode of Ms. Primash's Art Cart. Since we've been working with oil pastels in class, I figured I would do a review for you guys right here. So if you have oil pastels at home, great, and if not, we'll work on it in school. So I'm going to do the candles that we've been working on in class. I'm going to do a purple candle from that advent wreath I showed you. So I'm going to start with the purple on this black paper, which is very dark. It's very hard to see. But I can see that it's there. So I'm really just trying to cover the paper as much as I can. Oil pastels look like crayons, but they're not crayons. They're nothing like crayons at all. They're more like drawing with paint. So let's add the flame part. Flame on a candle, sort of teardrop or raindrop shaped. I'm going to cover that in with the yellow. Okay, I'm going to add some red to that. In the middle, a little bit of orange. And then some more yellow. And some white. I got purple in there. Okay, um, the top of the candles, as you might remember from the uh, pictures up on the board, are lighter than the bottom of the candles. So, I'm going to use pink for the top of my candle. And I'm going to make the top really uneven to make it look like the candle's been melting down. And I'm pressing really hard. I want to cover the whole page. Remember, oil pastels are more like paintings than they are like drawings. And if you make a mistake, just go over it. It's okay. So I'm going to get some more, make it really light up there. And because I want it lighter, I'm going to add some white. There's the white. All right, so that's fine. That's okay. That's good enough, I guess. But this is an oil pastel work, so we're going to use our fingers to smear or blend the pastels together. So fire always points up. So when you smear and blend for the fire, you want to point up. So you get the effect of it being looking like real fire. Now, with the candle part, we don't have to necessarily go up. We just need to blend everything together. So I'm blending my colors to really make it look like this is a candle whose top is lighter. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now a bunch of you were asking me about um, wax dripping. So you want to make the top uneven and then bring a line down alongside the candle and make like a blob. Okay, let's do that over here, make a blob. Make a blob and now we're gonna blend it. Oops, no problem. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to add a little more in my fire. And it, you have to be careful when you're blending. Make sure you know what color is stuck on your fingers already before you start blending. So it's helpful to keep a rag or something around to wipe your hands off in between colors. And there you go. Oil pastel candle. So if you have oil pastels at home, keep practicing. If not, 
practice in class. See you next time.